The cat wheels. He's so little. He did choke me out once, and we had like a whole little legal thing. Oh, and it was like at New Year's at Soho House. It was like a quick, and it ever that moment got corrected and rectified through attorneys. Knew How better. much he paid you for a choke? A lot of gifts. My booty. I had got my BBL. I had got a Porsche that day. Like a sixty-five thousand dollar cash gift for choke. a choke. Cat holds his own for who Cat is. I don't expect Cat to be like Shaq and then be like Cat. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? <laughs> cat. Cat is Cat, and Cat got Cat. So you're saying the dick is proportionate to the body, <laughs> right? Masika came in when Mona said, "I need kind of like a whole character." Like, damn. A, Y'all not recall the scene at the ASCAP Awards with me bringing her on the carpet with me? Her scenes were with me. She was a friend of mine on the show. And so, then started fucking. And then, and then betraying man. me. Yeah, right in front of my eyes in real life. Like, just because you the publicist and you're a retainer to help blow up a nigga's career, don't mean that you're. they're not trying yeah. to, like, I've turned down advances. It's uh, giving you selling pussy for tracks, right? I mean, well, Tier ate my pussy before. <laughs> what? And then when I was with Kat, Offset reached out to me and Kat gave them the 200,000 because they went bankrupt to get like the Migos back off the ground and running, you know? They were going to dismantle this machine that had taken over female rap and they were sending Remy to do it that I like witnessed firsthand at Summer Jam. And they had all these powerful women in hip hop come together to support the dismantling of the Barbie. But um, let's talk about your marriage. That was very public, mm -hmm. very messy, mm -hmm. very Kiki Palmer-ish. B! Oh, hey. Hey, where you calling from? Tampa, Florida. Okay, do you have a question about a relationship with family? Um, mm -hmm. Yes, it's about a, necessarily about a relationship or uh, some like what, what you think I should do. Okay, go ahead, baby. Hit me with your question. Let's go. Okay, so um, I'm 32. I okay. have four kids. Um, I was young. I was young, you know. Yeah, always lying. Talking about I was young. You was fast as fuck. You yeah, know and you ain't let me get it out. You ain't let me get it out. 18, 19 years old. I was hunching. I was throwing it. I was hunching. Okay. I ain't even gonna cap. I was hunching. All right, go ahead, baby. Go so ahead. Uh, I got four in the midst of me doing all that. I got four kids. I got a set of twins and I got a little girl and a little boy. My oh. youngest two kids, their fathers are full time. They take them, they get them everything. Okay. The issue is my older two kids. Okay. So round, I was, you know, dibbing and dabbing. I Tested two niggas first that I thought was my baby daddy. They wasn't it. So I got another dude, but I haven't tested him. I haven't talked it to him. Nothing, none, none of that. Mm -hmm. But um, the, the question is, what should I do? Because I reached out to him. Um, he won't, you know, respond. I reached out to the mother. The mother just basically like disregarded everything that I said because my kid, my oldest, the twins are 13 now. Um, I understand that the the person that I want to test, he has a family, he has a wife, he has all of that stuff going on. At the time, it wasn't like that. It was a one-time thing, and I just happened to get pregnant, you know? So, um, I don't want to mess up no homes or cause any problems, any friction, none of that. So, I'm just, I'm just stuck on what I should do. I wrote the mom, I wrote the father, nobody has hit me back. Um, I'm, and I'm just lost. I'm lost on um, like, girl, you didn't pop I, up. I with, take accountability. I take. Well, accountability listen, you didn't pop up fault. with a baby. You popped up with a couple. Yeah, it That's was why I, I that bad like thing about my, that was me. It was me. Like I was, you know, being reckless with my body and stuff. So, and the result of that, I, you know, got kids and stuff. I take full accountability for my part and what I did. But you how know, sure so. are you that he's a father? Um. It was three different dudes, three different dudes that I was messing with at the same time. So the first two dudes I tested and this last dude, I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not even going to say I'm 100 percent sure. I just want him to take the test. Just take the test and we can get it out of the way. Like, well, you can, do, you can do a court order test. You know how Florida do. You go down there, ask for some child support and they'll make him show up to take the test. And see, this is, and this is the thing. The second dude that I tried to, he took, he ran from the test, everything. Ran, completely said, 
F all of that. And it took literally up until my children were about 11 years old for him to finally, you know, take the test. And it came back that he wasn't the father. So a lot of the court defaulted him the father of my kids because they tried three times to get him to do a DNA test and he didn't do it. So they defaulted him. You get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. So now we in a process, I'm trying to get him like situated. I'm trying to help him get off of child support and all of that stuff because I, I'm a woman. <laughs> I'm not going to keep taking man for money from this man knowing that he's not the father of my kids. You know you got to get it back, right? Huh? Uh, 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 huh? Yeah. Uh-huh. But the reason he's paying child support is because he didn't take the test. Uh, you got to get it back. Oh. If you un do him as a father you got to refund that so what do you what do you what you think i should do keep it like that and let that man keep paying it <laughs> you're gonna I'm need just... okay 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 now i'm not a lawyer however this right. is what i would do and you do need to seek a lawyer for this but this is what okay. i would do i would make a deal with him i would say i will take you off child support and undefault you as the father and basically clear the back pay if you do not require me to pay it back. Okay, cool. Slim, what you think? What's your name, Slim? I mean, my What's Slim saying? Okay, so Slim said if he was in that situation, he'd be cool with that. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's okay. how you're going to do that. But you got to get it in writing. So if he does try to say or the court tries to enforce something, him saying he doesn't want it, you got that in writing. So make sure you get that notarized. Right. Okay. Yeah. But the thing I'm confused about is the the la the last dude. Like I'm just like, what should okay. I do? Now you just gonna have to do the same process that you did with the second dude. Oh let my the Jesus. That his was, ass down. Man, that was drawn out. But it's fine, but it's for your kids, right? Yeah. You just better hope yeah. you're right this time. Yeah, I hope I'm right too. Shit. I was doing I, listen, listen. We all have our moments where we just be like, you know, all over the place. I was all over the place. All right, you know, when I first I got a little piece, when I first got a piece of the little thing, and it it was jumping from there. You get what I'm saying? So I don't know. Fast. I'm it's, just being open and honest. Let's see. Fast. Well, at least you're gonna be a young grandma, huh? <laughs> what you say? You're gonna be a young grandma. You got your kids out of the way. Shit. Oh you know? no, my kid. Uh. -uh. Uh uh, my kids don't know. I'm gonna be a grandmother, but I don't think I'm gonna be a young grandmother. You will, because your kids gonna be grown so. before you turn like forty and fifty. Well, I'll be kicking it with my kids then. Shit, <laughs> I'll be kicking. That's it with what you gotta do. So go ahead, and get a written contract from him. Then go get the lawyer and go get everything undone. And okay. get that child support because really I don't feel like that's fair. I don't feel like it's fair for me to keep doing that or that you to do that because most my mama would never. <laughs> <laughs> Lena would have been like the hell with it. You shouldn't have put no dick in me. I thought it was. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't feel like that's fair. I feel like I that's it's in my duty to you know clear that because you know, even though yeah. he took as long as he did, like. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I just and just do like this with the guy, the other guy. Just say, "Hey, I don't want to have to get the courts to come chase you because they will default you as the father and start garnishing your checks." Let's Again, just get it. they will do that. They with will do person. that. They will do that. You know, Florida don't play about that shit. They want that money, right? Okay, right. so you are gonna go down there and you are gonna do that. Say here, they can either default you and garnish you and your wife's checks. Or you just come take the test and then we we work out a payment plan. That's it. And you don't right. even need back pay since you already got somebody to back pay that. Okay. You just focus <laughs> on what's now. Okay. All Can right. you be in the kid's life? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all an update, you know. And don't be no, okay. don't be no mean baby mama to that wife now. Oh no, no, I, I'm not even that type. I'm not, I'm not even like that. I don't, I have no issues with. You go None through her. You go through her when you want to deal with him. So she feels empowered about the situation. Right. Right. You're absolutely right. right. And okay. I also, I'm transparent with my kids. I tell my kids everything, my oldest two, I tell them everything that's going on. I let them know what I'm doing so that 
when everything does go down, like they're they don't have no negative spirit against anybody. Like you know how some kids you can yeah that's like, good for you doing that for real because my daddy just showed up. When I was 12, and he was like, I'm your daddy. He talked just like, he got a raspy voice like me. I'm your daddy. I was like, who? <laughs> Man, yeah, I'm so about to go upstairs. I was like, I'm about to go upstairs, like, for real. Like, he was like, well. Yeah, I keep them in the loop with everything because I don't want them to be upset with anybody because it's not their fault. It's mine. Right. So I just, you know, try to keep them open. I let them know everything, like literally yeah that's good that and keep it. it like that keep it like that i love that about you so and tell these yeah, girls just, don't begin pregnant during their whole phase oh man I, yeah and i yes. got two daughters i got two daughters so it's kind of like i i be on them the like, boys too them. you gotta tell them too because they're gonna think it's okay yeah okay yeah. all right all thank right. you tasha i appreciate love it me, love you love you too all right bye-bye